How's it going everyone? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. This is video four of our Becoming Your Own Banker series where we're covering everything Becoming Your Own Banker by Mr. R. Nelson Nash. Yes. What we're going to cover today is the grocery store example where it talks about stealing the peas. <laughs> Don't steal the peas. Don't steal the peas. <laughs> And that's on page 15 and 16 of this book, Becoming Your Own Banker. So to sum up what Nelson is talking about is he's saying, uh, use your imagination, because remember the last video is about imagination. So bring your imagination over into this section. And what he's saying is, let's imagine that you are a business owner where you are both the consumer and the seller. And he uses a grocery store to um, solidify this example, because we all have to eat, right? And if you own a business where you sell groceries, you are both the consumer and the seller. Mm -hmm. So what uh, Nelson refers to most vividly is a can of peas and how the cost of can of peas is 57 cents and you can sell it for 60 cents. Mm -hmm. So grocery stores keep low margins and in order for them to break even they have to turn the can of peas 15 times. They have to sell 15 canopies just to break even. Mm -hmm. So we want you to keep these things into perspective because what happens when your family comes in the grocery store and you have to buy groceries? Yeah, that's a really good point. If you're if you own a grocery store and your family comes in, will you let them go out the uh, front door, meaning you're charging them for it, or will you let them go out the back door? Meaning they ain't paying. Meaning they're not paying for it. <laughs> now that still costs you money. Mm -hmm. Will you allow them to cost you money mm -hmm. um, if, if you own that business? Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the point here is um, imagine yourself as a banker. Mm -hmm. Banks are in the business of uh, transacting money, lending money, um, borrowing money, things of that nature. Would you treat your family members the exact same way you would a stranger? Yeah, but the, the, the point bringing it all back, like starting with a grocery store, then transitioning into banking. We're talking about banking when, yes. it, when it comes down to it. So um, you are both the consumer and the seller in the banking business if you mm -hmm. want to get into infinite banking. So you are the consumer because you utilize money for mm -hmm. your lifestyle. Now being the seller and stepping into the infinite banking role, are you going to treat yourself or your family the exact same way? Yeah. Because, it's, and, and from a personal experience, I know it's hard for uh, parents to, let's say, they want to lend money to a child. Mm -hmm. It's hard for them to cr collect collateral or oh, yeah. create some type of collateral <laughs> for that expense because they're like, okay, if they can't afford to pay it, then they're not... I'm not going to come collect on my son. I'm not going to go son. collect on my, my son or, <laughs> or my daughter. I'm not going to repossess their car mm -hmm. because I lent them money. But we have to start thinking just like the bankers. What would happen if we borrowed that money from the bank? Yeah. Yeah. Now, because we're consumers and we are, in essence, our own banker, mm -hmm. then we should do the exact same thing. We should collect on our children. Exactly. And the, the point also coming back to the grocery store, just to keep it relatable. So if you decide to let your family go out the back door and you don't have them pay for the groceries, mm -hmm. you now have to sell 20 can of peas to make up for that loss. Right, so how many times do we want to help our family out? And oh, it's on me, it's a discount, whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. But we don't take the time to think about the cost implication that uh, we can suffer from when we're giving our family these discounts for, for, from our businesses. Yeah. So again, like going back to what Darius said, is once we put the banker hat on and we lend money to our family, we have to operate the exact same way the bank will because otherwise that's just a negative <laughs> consequence on us from a monetary standpoint and can you afford that hit yeah banking is a business it's not personal <laughs> it's not personal <laughs> hashtag not personal <laughs> for real um but th these are things that we want to put into perspective so i love the fact that nelson talks about a grocery store because it's super relatable again if you buy a can of peas you know which door are you going out of the front or the back door and again same with your family or same with other people that you lend money to when it comes to banking are you going to create that collateral create those contracts create mm -hmm. um the the system that allows you to do banking and adhere to it mm -hmm. or are you just going to throw your money away right it's on you collect the money <laughs> <laughs> make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook and instagram at wealthnation.io and remember don't steal the peas <laughs> <laughs>